Timeless trends. What are they? Can something trendy even be timeless? Well, I'm here to tell you that yes, yes, it can. And today I'm going to show you eight things that you can add to your wardrobe or better yet, something existing in your wardrobe that you can tweak to make it both trendy and timeless. Hello, my name's Trish and I started this channel to share all of the knowledge I've been rapidly accumulating since starting over on my closet in 2020. I post new videos every week, so be sure to subscribe so you never miss out. How can something be trendy and timeless? Well, look no further than these eight items that come back onto the scene again and again, proving their worths in our wardrobes. Let's get started. Tailoring is a timeless classic. If you have tailored pieces in your wardrobe, the chances are you can tweak them to become more contemporary. So for example, take this linen blazer that I got last year, and I've paired this with a crop top just to give it a more contemporary feel. Oversized blazers are still on trend and it's the easiest thing in the world to just borrow a blazer from the man in your life, be it your husband, your brother, your dad, you know, and you can easily tweak that oversized blazer then with a crop top or some of your other items to create a whole new outfit. I've also paired this linen blazer with my Isabel Morant belt for a kind of twist on an old theme. This accessory really lifts the blazer and gives it a whole new silhouette, which I'm really enjoying at the moment. Trench coats are timeless, but every season, suddenly they're hot again, meaning that they are both trendy and timeless as well. That perfect combination. At the moment, the market is awash with trench coats of all types. This Massimo Duty trench coat that I'm showing you now was a recent purchase and I am so, so pleased with it. It is 100% cotton and even though the lining is polyester, unfortunately, but the rest of the coat is cotton and it has really beautiful button detailing in a kind of tortoiseshell style. I've styled it here with a knit from Cezanne that I talked about in a previous Cezanne video, which I'll link down below for you. And I've also styled it with an all black look, which I think is incredibly classic, but also looks well no matter what the season. Equestrian motifs are something that we've seen throughout style history. Gucci, of course, put the equestrian motif on the map and it is a style that's very close to my heart being an equestrian myself and having grown up with horses all of my life. So this is something that I really want to add to my closet in 2022 because at the moment, to my own surprise, I have absolutely no equestrian motifs whatsoever. I have no horse bit loafers, for example. I have no... Um, embellishments on a bag so it is something I am really feeling the lack of in my closet and do want to add soon. We're spoiled for choice when it comes to the equestrian motif because it keeps coming back again and again proving its worth as both a trendy item and a timeless one also. Denim has been around since the 1850s and yet every season it seems that there are new denim trends and new ways to make the denim in our wardrobes feel fresh and current. So for example, double denim is back again at the moment this season and I've styled a double denim outfit for you here where I'm using a beautiful Lyocell denim shirt from Massimo Duty and I've styled that with And Other Stories straight leg light wash jeans, which I will have talked about in depth in my previous video on how much we should pay for jeans and I'll leave that video linked down below for you as well. This is a fantastic spring outfit and one I've already been wearing. It's so simple to put together and yet feels very current as well. When we look at denim throughout the years, you can see that flares obviously were a thing in the 70s and yet flares have never gone away. There's just new ways to style that same item in our current closets. 
Corsets have been around for hundreds of years, yet there's new versions being created to this very day. I've found some really beautiful current versions, which I will leave linked in the description box for you. It seems to me that the blue shirt and the blue and white striped shirt come back around every spring. Every spring, Instagram is full of people styling theirs and I am no exception to that. But it is a trend for a reason because it is fresh, it lifts the whole feeling of an outfit, it brings us into the new season and it's timeless for a reason as well because it's just such a good, versatile and beautiful piece. I've styled my shirt with some faux leather leggings from Spanx and an Isabel Moran belt that you saw at the beginning of this video. I really enjoy this outfit because it is easy to put together, comfortable to wear, and yet contemporary as well. Silk is a timeless material. It's locks, it's soft, and it drapes more beautifully on the body than any other fabric, in my opinion. You can see that I'm wearing a silk piece today, this beautiful silk shirt from Cezanne. I absolutely love the detailing on this shirt. It has covered buttons, which is a really nice touch. Beautiful lace detailing around the collar. And it also has ever so slightly, well, they're not puffed sleeves, but they are detailed in that they give some shape and structure to the shoulders, which is really, really beneficial for my body type. Silk is a timeless fabric but that is also really easy to style in new and fresh ways. You can see here that I've paired this beautiful white silk shirt from Everlane with blue jeans and a straw bag to bring it into the spring season. And last, but by no means least, is creativity. Creativity is the thing that allows us to take our existing wardrobe and create new outfits in fresh and exciting ways every single season. The power of creativity should not be underestimated because it saves us money and allows us to maximize all of the beautiful pieces that we already own. Which of these items was your favorite? Let me know in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. A whole lot better